What's going on, everybody? Necrophage here, and happy Super Bowl Sunday. Sunday, Sunday. I got my colors on. I'm ready to see this game. It's been about a year since the last one. It just feels so far away. I'm just glad this one is here, and hopefully we all get to see an entertaining game later. Uh, this gameplay is actually gameplay from the Metal Gear Rising demo, and believe me when I say this, I am not going to win any Player of the Year awards with this demo. I wasn't sure how to tackle it. It's not stealthy like most Metal Gear games are, so to hack and slash my way through it was kind of odd to me, but it's here to stimulate your eyes while my succulent voice makes sweet, sweet love to your ears. <laughs> but on to the meat and potatoes of the matter. For all you who haven't been keeping up on the PlayStation news, a couple days ago, Sony's official blog, their Twitter, their site, their Facebook, any media outlet basically associated with Sony, uh, had a video posted up on there, and that video wasn't anything special, it was about 45 seconds long, lots of electricity, lots of moving shapes associated with the PlayStation controller, but at the end of this video was a date drop, and that date drop was February 20th, 2013. And this date marks the day that Sony's going to hold a conference in New York City uh, regarding the future, and I'm going to put the future in quotes here. It's going to be the future of their company. And of course, as soon as this date happened, sources started confirming that this conference is actually going to be the unveiling of the PlayStation 4. And at first, I was kind of shocked that they were even Sony was even going to do this because it wasn't a couple weeks ago that caused Harai the CEO of Sony was quoted saying that they were going to let Microsoft go first in terms of unveiling anything related to their next gen console and he didn't want to give Microsoft the opportunity to adjust anything on their end to give them the upper hand so they said they were going to wait but here it is a couple weeks later and Sony's announcing this conference that you know the PlayStation 4 is probably going to be at so I thought I'd have you know a few predictions of what's going to happen in this conference and I'm just going to run through them bullet point style. Uh, I do think we will see this behemoth of a console finally unveiled in all of its glory. I think we're finally going to see the hardware for what it is because it's pretty much going to be done, it's going to be made um, and we'll get an idea of how it'll look in our homes. <laughs> Uh, I don't think we'll see a controller. We might. It just depends on if Sony actually is redesigning the DualShock 3. Um, there's a lot of speculation that they're possibly gonna gonna put a touch screen on the on the DualShock. It might not, it might not even be called the DualShock anymore. Who knows? But we're definitely gonna see the hardware, and I do definitely think they're gonna boot this baby up. So we'll probably see uh, some of the profile menus, we'll probably see some of the uh, new cross-media bar interfaces, anything that they've updated from the PlayStation 3 that they're going to carry over into the PlayStation 4. I can't imagine it being crazily different because, I mean, the setup is pretty simple from the PlayStation 3, but who knows, maybe they overhauled the whole thing and everything works differently. But I do think they will kind of talk about how our profiles carry over Hopefully they do, because I got a lot of trophies I want to save. Uh, what I don't think you'll hear from this is pricing or a release date for this console. I think these two details are very E3 related, and this conference is just going to be to get our toes wet with the PlayStation 4. It's going to get us familiar with it, and they're still going to use E3 as the main you know, platform to hype this, this baby up. Uh, another thing is I don't think we'll see any games related to the PlayStation 4's launch lineup. But, I mean, I, I still think we will get like a highlight reel at the end of this conference of what games are possibly being, you know, developed for the PlayStation 4. But a lot of it we probably won't recognize. It'll probably be about a minute long, you know, a sizzle reel of what's, what's to come for the PlayStation. So you'll probably see Nathan Drake... Maybe Kratos, depending, you know, on what studios are working on what. But I'm sure we'll also get a whole ton of footage of stuff that we have no idea about. So if that happens, expect this video to get ripped apart and expect people to try to put titles, you know, of games to, to the things that they're seeing. But uh, 
I do think that they will turn this sucker on and they're going to give us an idea of what the console itself is actually capable of. So I ex expect to see some of the features of the console, uh, kind of like how when the move came out, you know, they showed the one to run, the one to one ratio aspect of the move controller with what you see on the screen. So I expect stuff like that, but expect anything that we see demoed to be specifically created to demo whatever feature they're trying to show us. And if, if this is the case, it's pretty much just to get, you know, names of features associated with the PlayStation 4. That way, when E3 does finally come around and games are taking advantage of these features, we'll know what they're talking about and we'll have something to relate it to because we've already seen it from this conference. But, you know, those, those are my ideas of what I think is going to happen in this conference. Uh, hopefully Sony live streams it, and if they don't, then hopefully you know, one of the gaming websites like IGN live streams it, because I think we all should be able to sit down as one big happy PlayStation family to see the unveiling of this glorious, glorious console come to life. Finally have the curtain removed from it. But uh, anyways, that's my thoughts. Let me let me. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. What are we going to see? We're going to see the console. We're going to see new controllers. Is it going to be three hours long? You know, 30 minutes long? Who knows? Let me know what you guys think. Uh, also, I fully expect to post another run through of my Hitman, you know, missions up soon. So keep your eyes peeled for that. Hopefully, you guys enjoy the Super Bowl. I know I will. Go, Ravens!